All right. Am I actually in focus this time? I feel like I am. Oh, okay. All my changes. Today is Vita Day number. And group projects are literally the worst. The worst invention in man time. I am. Hmm. So story time. If I'm going to go into a little story time as well as a rant, it's like a double entendre. That's essentially. So you get a two for one. A two for one. So group projects are literally the worst. The worst. Ah, I feel like everyone can relate because one, you're split in the group and you're put with three other three or four or however many people in the group and all of your group grade is together as one as five people grade should be are into one and then usually that one you have that one smart cookie who always does the work who does majority of the work doesn't really want to but has to because they have to pick up the other people's slack and they all of their work is just pieced off to other people and you're like hmm nope because I did all of this and you did not a thing not a zilch zero nothing and clearly you know they did nothing but the teacher is like hey yeah I know I'm gonna grade you guys as one teachers if you are a teacher I no offense really no offense but why in the world just erase that from your teacher brain. Group projects never work. They never work. You're always mixing personalities that don't really work together. They don't mesh. Okay, they're, mm, they're like bread and water. Why would we do that? That's, ugh. don't do that. I really don't understand the mentality the teachers have. Yeah, let's make them all group together and they can work together and learn things from other people. Yada yada yada. Yeah, no, not really. When the group is the group project supposed to be fun, and it's not really fun because I had a group project last week and it was like a really big grade. I think that's what she told us. And I have three other, four, five other people in the group. And one of the girls didn't even show up for, we didn't meet like not even once. And when we did meet, it was 45 minutes before our project was due. And the guy who had the poster board had literally did it like 12 hours before. So it was, it looked nice. It looked like he didn't put, you know, any effort into it at all, which is good for his part. But then we have this one lady who's very, very opinionated. I feel like everyone always has that one opinionated person in the group who just wants to talk and talk and talk and put their opinions out there. And when no one receives them, they get upset. And I'm like, oh, everyone's upset and everyone's a little bit irritated because she just loves running her mouth. She just runs it, runs it, just runs it like a battery running a car. And then she runs it out and the car doesn't work anymore. So her big mouth, person in the group I'm gonna call her big mouth in the group we already had an original timekeeper our timekeeper we had 15 minutes to do our project and it shouldn't have taken almost 15 minutes to do our project because we did different systems body systems or whatever and we had the nervous system and now if it was up to me the project the group would have been done in under 10 minutes but no we had two three minutes to spare because as one of the girls, the original timekeeper, is keeping the time, she knows how much time she's looking at her clock, so she's looking at it. And the lady beside me has the audacity to open her big mouth. Big mouth. And saying, time, 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 time. What does time mean to you? What does time mean to you? Time, in my mind, means to stop. You should have said, been nicer and whispered, hey. You're almost close to time, so our other person can go. But this is us literally doing the project. And I'm just like, I'm just so embarrassed. I'm, I'm not even saying anything because then even one of our group members didn't even get to say anything his part. So I'm just like, she said it so loudly that the people in the back, our teacher, and also the two, three other people from the outside sources who were grading us, stopped and heard her. So her big mouth got us a little great. Oh, 
And being the overachiever that I am, I was ticked. I was very, very ticked because I need this class and I don't want to see the teacher again and I don't want to fail because you have the audacity to open your mouth. So I'm hoping to the Lord Jehovah God that this lady has mercy. She has mercy and she goes ahead and gives individual grades because um, based on what we deserve on individual grades, not a group grade because group grades suck. Being in a group sucks. They are the worst. I'm not understanding. Oh yeah, you gonna be no, no. Literally, group projects are the top thing on the top thing list of things that I dislike, that I hate. Raining, they take he it takes the crown. It takes the crown because I really, 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 really hate group projects. Oh God. Oh Lord. So we shall see what my grade looks like. Oh, I hope my grade is at least a B. I did that work. And I'm not understanding why no one else did theirs. So group projects are the worst. Tell me why down in the comments if you think group projects are awesome, if you don't think they're awesome, if you think they are the worst. What about group projects just irks your soul? And let me know down in the comments. And Bye. Ciao, ciao. I always begin an intro with Portuguese. I think that's awesome.